see how this matchup looks between Richter and Isabel. I feel like we saw this earlier, but I could be wrong. I've seen it before uh, when I've had the chance to uh, work with SAK Gaming in the past. Richter. Um, and it, 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 can, it can be a bloodbath for the Belmonts if they get it off stage whatsoever. So. No, I do believe they played in winners because we saw the Isabel edge guards against Richter specifically. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. We saw that yesterday. We'll see if Astell can figure out some kind of strategy, some kind of new angle to make sure he can finally get the edge over B-Rice. Try to get further on here at the game on Expo Bracket. All right, and we're getting on to game number one. It's going to be Pokemon Stadium 2. No surprises here and already. B-Rice finding a simple 3% with the forward smash. But up smash into the... Up uh, there, getting the damage going. Astil trying to fight his way down with the forward airs. As we've seen throughout this tournament, b has no problem using uh, Isabelle's uh, smash attacks and almost like get off me options or anticipatory like anti air. Yeah, we were discussing this earlier. It's very reminiscent of like Meta Knight forward smashes where you just throw it out sometimes. There's not that much lag on it. And the reward is just so skewed in your favor if they happen to jump into it. Yeah, she actually has like considerable range on an up smash too. Like, it goes above the character's <laughs> her boxes. There you go, Astel. That might be the thing he's gonna have to do. He might just have to pick a projectile to sacrifice. Oh, to Isabel's wallet, but she's gonna pocket your stocks. Yeah, and that's a quick start to the set. Honestly, a lot faster pace than you would have expected from the character select screen between these two. <laughs> right. Uh, these two are set play characters. Isabel is cute snake. That's the best way to describe the character. Um, gonna be relying a lot on, on mining or we're setting up mines. Lloyd Mines there. The, 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 oh, you got popped into the axe. Now you gotta be careful about another anti air option if you're asked to tell. Somehow, where Axel launch out of the pocket, especially wise. Oh, that was it. That might be the, the cross kick for him. I, every Belmont main must feel like they're kicking themselves whenever it crosses and they don't have an aerial prepared for it. Yeah, it's one of those things where you throw it out sometimes and you're like, oh, I threw it out, not gonna worry about it, just have my setup, and then the cross comes back and you're like, oh, I forgot. All right, like, yeah. Now my setup's ruined. Oh, oh, no chase there from B Rice, but instead harassing Aston on the ground. There we go, roll read in. Double. Oh, oh no! why did you have to? I'm. I feel like the F2 actually ruined the knockback. Because uh, uh, the Ash was too strong. Yeah. Oh no, but it doesn't matter. B Rice making sure that she tucked in Asphalt's stock, all nice and quiet like. A two stock lead here for the Isabel man. All right, and it's gonna be the back air forcing As or sorry B Rice off stage, all the way back and just fu both of these players kind of just rolling back to center stage, going, I don't want to be at the ledge against <laughs> right. against you. Like, let's like, head shake to go back ball. to the Pokeball. Pokeball That's safe. Be home. <laughs> yeah, we got Pokemon at home. Oh, I love it. The drift in double nared up tilt sequence here, but Asel said enough of that oh, stuff. Oh, deep, and now he sacrificed the Holy Water. Gives plenty of time to Isabel to try and catch it. Take it out of the pocket of Now be careful where you Astel. land if you're Asel right now, because you know b Rice is faking something devious here. Double up here up top. Dribble, yep. Back here, no double jump, oh, and he's gone. Wow. And that's a three stock to start off this set. You can see Isabel's out the item code for fire. That gameplay was fire. B Rice with all the jump callouts you could ever want in that game one. Yeah, I mean, that was just dominant play from B Rice. I'm curious to see what the adaptation is from Astil. We, I mean, we saw these players go game five yesterday, I believe. Hey, and you wouldn't necessarily think of Isabel as like a fast frame data character, but B Rice has just got a really good command of all the characters, facets, and elements, she, that it just feels like even when he's whiffing, I, he's immediately I, on I think what it is is Isabel and b specifically plays at this weird tempo that most characters don't normally play at. So it puts you in this awkward position of you're kind of offbeat where you go, okay, well, I want to jump, but there's this projectile that came out already, so I can't jump, and it ruined my momentum, and I kind of have to reset and figure out the timing on that. Right. I mean, that's, that's quintessential of set play characters. They play at a way different tempo than, like, Rush down zoners or grapplers, you know. Oh, <laughs> the extension with the <laughs> Isabel cross toss? Oh, I love it. We're just going to see so much goofy, goofiness out of this. Given that Acetyl has like four different projectiles to wield, that it, B Rice can just toss out at all kinds of wacky angles. But sometimes all you need is a good slingshot and good, great coverage with these jumping fares. Try to call out with a water bucket down smash. Out, fair out deep. Can Acetyl get back to the ledge? Oh, he does. That was so smart by Acetyl. Oh, the. Drag down near into the grab, it's gonna be a down throw, but no follow up too high percent at only 50. 
Whip smart here by Astel trying to pressure B Rice trying to get back to ledge, but uh, was able to fall through. I think he drifted back. I don't know if he, if he drifted forward, he would have been able to connect the up being since it's a, a pretty standard uh, conversion for Belmont's out of downer in that situation, but that remains to be seen right now. Cross out and pocketed by B Rice. Gotta be mindful of that one. I feel like it's not the highest list on priority for Belmont though. Like they want to throw it out sometimes, sure. But as long as I feel like taking away the holy water is the scariest one for Belmont. That's yes. so much of his ledge trapping game. But the threat of it, the pocket even existing is preventing Astel from throwing it out. So I have to be very smart, make sure you can't take it. That up air almost taking the stock either way, and it's uh, gonna be the phone smash. And B Ray is just making people pl uh, pay for playing too hasty. You wanna A land on me? You wanna squash my little doggy? Here's a party favor for you. Yeah, and these party poppers have been coming out over and over and over, and finally one of them connects, and pops the stock off of Astil's Belmont. Here's a ledge trapping game. This is what Belmont's used in order to make their bones. But again, uh, Beerus charting a perfect path to get out of dodge. Does get whipped out deep. Astil now has a chance. And that's the one angle that Belmont's don't really think. <laughs> like, if we can cover all angles, are you sure about that? Not underneath. <laughs> you have to like, make sure like Axe kind of falls through the stage or cover right around there, but even yeah. then, that's, that's a huge call out. Oh, and Axel, is he looking for the edge guard? Do I go out there? Oh, uh, he was looking for a ledge trap. Wow, the one time B Rice with a hasty uh, option off ledge, Axel wasn't didn't have his feet set, they weren't big to pay for it. No dash attacks for B-Rice, almost had a chance to convert into it. Oh! f to just get away from me, do not come close, this is my area, but it's not going to be enough to take the stock, and B-Rice is just dropping the pottery on him. <laughs> like a bull in a china shop, but it's a dog. Anyway, f finally getting one of those whips to land right on the money, getting that stock. B-Rice immediately getting back to crafting here, trying to figure out a way to Sashay, Astel's demise, getting beaten away. Astel's getting a bit more mileage out of his normals, though. Drag down into the grab. Nice reset from Astel. Avoids the Lloyd, too. But B Rice able to get, kind of get back into this and, and reset. All right. Back to neutral once again. Both players just throwing out hitboxes. B Rice just saying, do not jump. I've got these projectiles coming above you. But at the same time, Astel is just kind of held in place, throwing out these F tilts. Said, don't approach me on the ground. We, we just handshake and wait for someone to mess that up. That was so close. You can see what Astel was doing for. He thought he had it, timing wise. And the down smoke match, only the weak hit boss, still not enough to take care of B Rice right here. To yeah, ledge. that was a great air dodge through the back of ledge. Back to neutral once again, and both players have their move that they want to throw and make hit. Oh, but it's no. going to be the up throw, not going to be able to do it. Only 130. It starts to I feel like close Even to. I feel like it's at like 150 to see that. Yeah, game. where Rage would probably manifest the grab. Nevertheless, that is the no man's land for the Belmont, the way that B Rice yeah, was way kind of too sitting out there. Ooh. And that's one thing I feel like we saw a lot yesterday that we're not seeing now have been these downers from that. So he was throwing those out so confidently yesterday. But the way B Rice has been playing around them, it's just felt like it's so difficult to find the time to throw it out. Well, he already got there. Oh, there what was I go. saying? Yeah, from, what yeah. was I saying? He, he had to call, go for the moment. He had to rise to the occasion. He did. I will say this. B-Rice has made it pay for trying to land aggressively, too. So that might be what he's thinking about. But you still got to go for it sometimes. No grab there for Astil. B-Rice having a chance here to go up 2-0. If Astil isn't too careful about how he plays it right now. Right, both players once again just back to the neutral trying to f make something happen. It's going to be the forward air force him off stage and a down angled forward air from Astil not only hits his belt but breaks the wood rocket she was planting. Hey, Astil is just going to go with no projectile Belmonts here. No axes, no holy water, no cross, no give. problem. Oh, rising up air? Excellent air dodge there by B Rice. That's, he, he had to do it. Oh, there's oh. the down air, the drag down, the, fo or the down air throw rather. I was thinking up throw up here, right? I don't, I really doubt that works at this percent. Nice parry there from B Rice. The down are not working out quite yet, but Astel able to get a reset out of it. And now just getting covered. What so a much. call out on that roll. Oh, Knows the jump no. is coming, gets the back here, and he just. That's it. It may not be the oh! whip, the tether. I thought B Rice had one more slingshot in him. Ledge situation. 
This could be it for Asel. He needs to figure out a way to get this conversion. Oh, just too low when the back air starts. The hitbox doesn't come out, but smacking him on the way down. Asel has the lead here. Calls out the jump. Just sneaks underneath the Pelin. That's an up-angled back air. I take the stop. I thought he was out of range. That might have actually been a, a hitbox shift on the slingshot. I, I mean, maybe he thought he could jump behind it, use it as cover, and move forward with it, and just right into the open arms of Belmont Swift. I mean, man, Astell sweated that one out. That was a well-earned victory for Game 2 for Belmont, man. And they're going to run it right back for Game 3. Folks, well, we have a second. Thank you so much for joining us this weekend. We really, really appreciate you all tuning in to the SAK Gaming Twitch channel and uh, being a part of the viewing experience for, for uh, this wonderful Smash Ultimate Tournament showcasing the best of the American Southwest. Yeah, and it's going to be the backer, double backer forcing the U.S. offstage. And there's just a forward smash throwing it out. That's it, the first time all set we've actually seen the forward smash. Yeah, it, it is. He tries for another one. Said that worked once. I'll try again. I've never seen. I've never seen that he interaction. Like, before. He, he like, almost slipped <laughs> off the shield. What was that? It looked like he like went for the dive kick and then like rolled his ankle <laughs> on the way down. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, he's no. just gone. That, that's, that's all she wrote sometimes in this matchup, man. Both of these characters have crazy good options when they finally get their, their opponent off stage. It's just that, like, Isabel has some movement and, like, the disjoint in order to make Belmont pay further out. I think it's a combination of Isabel's recovery and the lasting hitboxes that make the offstage game feel so in her favor. She can go way deeper and cover options of Belmont's where Yeah, you see, Belmont Asa, Asa's trying it. to test it here, too, and it just nothing's quite working out. Trying to get creative on the ledge there with the turnaround and holy water, but not going to find it. Oh, went for the up a little bit too preemptively. Bad space and Rassel is getting dribbled off stage. A lot of pottery out there. Beerus went out to all the vendors we have out there and restocked all those, the pottery. <laughs> there were oh. a couple of pottery vendors out yeah. there. Yeah. Honestly, let's get. I, I would love to see you know, them throwing some custom made pottery around. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the vendors here at Game On It. Expo. Oh yeah, I definitely bought plenty of stuff. Plenty that's of stuff. They spent more money than I intended to on the convention, and that's hey. that's a good convention. I I, I agree. You never have a problem. Roll past budget. the holy water right there, though, and man, B Res immediately making us pay. Hey, Stein up there for the stock. Oh, he wasn't. Oh, you have to be so aware of where Lloyd is. And I will say this: Battlefield does have like a sandy texture to it, so it does kind of hide. The little nub in the ground that denotes I could where. See it, yeah. yeah, certain parts of it at least. It's like a very similar color to it. Not all of it, but there are like the highlights of it. And B Rice over and over again getting past the ledge trap that Asa was trying to set up. And even up, he's still not strong enough to ward away that first stock. And you have to feel for Asa Hill. It just kind of feels like. Trying to, to do it. Trying to fight a Look mountain. scratching his Like, how do you kill? Like, what do you do if you can't get the... You can't use your projectiles to ledge trap. You have to try and make a call out with a backer. And even a sour backer at 200 has to do it, right? Uh, it finally did. It seemed like... Oh, no. Out deep. Gotta be careful. Oh, b did go for it immediately. Maybe just want Astle to think hard about it. All right. There's a dash track. Good double jump from Astle getting out of there early. Guys oh, the man. Stretch. And B-Rice is attempting like, these hard call-outs with the lead grabs at ledge. You have to wonder if it's like part of a sound strategy to frustrate Astell. Oh, it it kind of looks like it's working, bro. The Lloyd's there. You can't move! He put okay, it no, in he's kind of raw for that one. <laughs> Empty hop, up smash to call out the jump. That's so wild. Because like roll, it, it, that situation covers roll. The only recourse Astell had would have been like roll back. And like he, he had no ground behind him. Right. What's going to be the pick here? I don't know if we go back to Battlefield. That looked rough. Never mind. I mean, you have more platforms to maneuver around, and, and like, ostensibly, you can kind of get away from, you know, some of Isabel's lateral zoning tools better, but it still gives Isabel a lot of room to maneuver and set up, you know, the void mines. So we'll see. Game four action. Keep Plenty it locked. What do you consider here for sure in this matchup? And it's going to be the aggression coming out from Acetil right now, just trying to make something happen, get started. I feel like maybe in that last game at least, 
I still was worried too much about the pocket, where it's like, okay, I just can't use any projectiles, only the A button. You kind of just got to accept you lose one of them, pick one, and then use the other ones. Yeah, I mean, you kind of just force b rice to use the pocket and stuff like that in and of itself can set up some stuff too. But so far, it's all b rice I still going to force b rice off stage once again. I still just looking for these areas as the true frame option instead. And every time he whiffs on the up call up for the anti-air, I just wonder, like, if it's just like B-Rice is starting to, like, get into his head, uh, he's seeing ghosts out there. Especially with the added platforms, it allows B-Rice to kind of maneuver left and right out of the way of something like that. Oh, that, that's a nice, fun little ride there. Oh, and that oh. back here just sniping B-Rice's recovery. That's what you need if you're still here. And there we go. And that's what you need if you're B-Rice to follow up on the Lloyd with the fishing rod. It's going to be the up throw. Taking him to the skies for all that's going to be... Oh, oh now we just hey. get in his head. Oh, comfy little ride into the Lloyd. That is nasty, but Astell giving him the business right back. Trying to string something out of that nair. Landing there. Oh, he reset. No, you look. That was so smart. The down, the delayed down air. I love it. Oh. Sour hit of that down air. No damage, even though it was three turnips, really. They're trying to clip one. Oh, he was so close to me me meeting him with the back air there. They got smash from Astell, and it looks like he's trying to figure out something in the matchup, getting some confidence back on him. I, I will say he's making Astell act out a lot of disadvantage, matching some options too, so well played to Astell. Oh, b Rice is having a hard time landing here, using that pocket to B-reverse out of the way, and withstands the down there. All right, the backer catching through the dash track hit from Isabel. Not able to find the second one to take the stock, though. Uh oh. It's dangerous here for Asuna. He's getting put into the corner, getting the grab. Pottery's out. Just barely got past it, going back to center stage. Slide tackle right into the center, back to neutral, but an up beyond the top platform is going to get punished. The U.S. not able to find a whole lot, but he is at least keeping the damage going and keeping Asatil in the corner. I, mean, I love to see gameplay this level because you can tell these two players are like functionally what? in each other's heads. <laughs> Why are you saying functional? We just saw a non-functioning yeah. move. Isabel up smash just did not connect for some reason. It doesn't matter though. B Rice is like, I got this. Come, big jab block kill. Oh, and this is bad for Asatil. Has to figure out a way to get back. Last stock here. We need to see a game for Isaac. Astro wants to stay in the oh, tournament, but no. he doesn't find the up smash. Backer not going to do it from across stage. I think Astro misjudged where his landing was when he went for the up smash call out. The brutal mistake. That's a high pressure, high stakes environment. Trying to go for a mash up E2, but B Rice just sticking right out of range here. Say up another lawyer. You got to be careful where you land if you're Astro. You might even get back thrown in this situation, too. He can't even rush across the stage because of where the mine is. Yeah, and the mine look, games. He doesn't have a tool to break it even. He's trying to like jump and do down angle back here, but you have to be so precise with that if you're not in the right spot already. Like it feels like he can't do anything. But and finally, a jump call out whip materializes stock for. I still knocked off stage, but he's able to get get back on quickly enough and F to his way back to a little bit of stage control. The down throw here. B Rice has to be careful. I don't think you want to face F in the game five. Yeah, be right. You gotta close out here. Do Woo! not give Astil the momentum to take this one back. But if I'm Astil here, I'm very happy with the center stage control I have. The F tilt just going straight through the pellet. Are we gonna see the ledge trap? The patience there by B Rice. Astil just trying to corral this lioness. No, it's not gonna do it right there. Just unable to get out of dodge from the up smash call out. Oh, that's gonna be a low recovery, but it is Isabel. She's gonna make it back just fine. Don't you worry. Wow. And I had just enough time to get the slingshot out. And Astell has seen this chance at game five. Vanish. Definitely not enough miles in the upbeat, but that was just all about getting a reset. I, I think b rice might actually be in sweet spot back here in kill range if, if b rice isn't careful right now. It's hard to say. Belmont kill options sometimes feel like they kill at 15, sometimes they kill at 150. Right. I genuinely, this character's confusing. Yeah, you see that b is trying to choke the life out of this game four right now with, with, with the spacing, with his placement. He's trying to just frustrate Astel. That's a stale roll. Yeah. Last week's bakery. 
breaks it deep. Four throughout deep. This is what B-Race is looking for, yeah, and that's there's the nair for the edge guard, and that's going to be a 3-1 victory for B-Race moving on in the tournament. <laughs> uh, tough, tough state of affairs for uh, Astil. Uh,